Hey guys, welcome back to LOJ's channel here, working on our Frontier. In the last video, we uh, discovered that the rear subframe from, from the Armada would actually bolt into the Frontier um, frame, just like we thought it would. Unfortunately, it would have moved the subframe forward like 14 inches because even though the Armada and Pathfinder and Xterra and Frontier and Titan all share the same frame shape, where the body is cut for the wheel well is different. So if we mounted the subframe in the Frontier frame, the way it would have been mounted in the Armada, it would have pushed the tires forward and then the bed lines would have all been screwed up and the wheelbase would have been way too short. So instead of doing that, we pushed the subframe back to the same center line where the Frontier's live axle was and then we had to design some brackets to mount the front mounting points on the subframe. So we used our 3D scanning tool and did a 3D scan of the frame, a 3D scan of the subframe, a 3D scan of the assembly, and then designed some brackets for making the front mounting points. Um, pretty trick brackets, I think. We're thinking about offering them on the market for guys who want to do IRS swaps on the Frontier. So if you're interested, definitely comment below. Uh, we may offer those. And um, pretty nice setup. Now it lets the subframe uh, bolt right in. So today's video, we're going to show basically the scanning process how we scanned it, the design of the parts. Um, there's also a couple other things with the rear subframe that we needed to do. Um, we had pulled all the bushings out of the subframe, like the rear differential mount bushings, when we had the subframe powder coated. Um, rather than putting new rubber bushings, uh, gonna machine some um, billet aluminum inserts for the subframe for the rear mounts on the differential. And um, just a couple other little things you'll see in the video, getting the subframe prepped and getting those parts designed for the rear end. And then we're going to get those brackets uh, water jet and we'll get them welded into the, the frame, get it all put back together and uh, hope you enjoy the video.
All right, so we got the rear brackets welded into the frame for the uh, Frontier to get that Armada subframe mounted up. It came out awesome, so happy with how they came out. Um, now we can get that subframe mounted into the truck. We'll be doing that in the next video, get the rear subframe mounted back in, turn this thing back into a roller uh, so we can start getting the cab pulled off and start all the work on the front end for the front suspension and the engine swap and all that good stuff. So thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. And uh, please like, subscribe, follow us here on YouTube, but also on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks so much. Take care.